Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft 118. Right now, I'm in the vanilla version of Minecraft, and that's my axolotl enclosure right back there. See, nothing really special about this. Let me quickly change over to Optifine with a shader pack, and we'll see what the difference is between these two. Okay, here we are inside of Optifine with a shader pack installed. As you can see, it's a vastly different look. Much better look here inside of Minecraft. Easy to do. All you need to do is to install Optifine and then install additional shader packs if you want to. Optifine comes with a basic shader pack. This is a third-party shader pack I added in here just because I like the way this thing looks. Okay, let's now see how you can download and install Optifine and use it in your own copy of Minecraft 118. Okay, here we are at the Optifine.net homepage. I'll put a link for this in the description. You don't have to type that in or memorize that. And this shows you all the stuff that's involved in Optifine. It's amazing how much this actually can do. And I'll be doing some more videos in the future on how to customize this and get some really interesting and exciting tricks here. But to download, all you have to do is go over here to the Downloads button right there. Click on that one. And here we go, Minecraft 118. At the moment, there isn't a final release yet for Minecraft 118. We're still working on a pre-release, pre-release 6. And as you saw from my own Minecraft world, it works just fine. Click on Download. We'll download this. Now, it's going to be giving you this kind of an ad thing here. Don't touch this. Don't do anything with this. Leave this alone. Look at the right-hand corner. Wait for that to say Skip. Then click on Skip. That gets you past that ad. Another ad down here. I'm just going to close that out of the way. There we go. And here is your download button for this. Go ahead, click on this, and download this to any location on your hard drive. I have a folder here in my Downloads folder I made just for Optifine. And then choose Save. It then downloads that, and it goes pretty fast. So there we go. There is that download. Now, while we're here, Optifine is free. We should go ahead and donate to Optifine to keep this great plugin, great mod going. You can donate right here. And if you donate, you can get a special cape in here to wear. Choose your color. Put in your username, and you can then get a cape. And I think this is a great way to support this best of all mods for Minecraft. Okay, here we go. There's one that I just downloaded right here. Notice that this is a jar file. Let me just make this a bit larger so you can see that better. There we go. Jar file right here. Now all you need to do is just to double click on this and it will automatically install this for you inside of Minecraft. I'll double click on that right now. Here you go. You can change the folder, but this should be the right folder already. It should automatically download and install right into the correct location. Now I've already done that, so I don't have to hit the install button, but just click on install. You know, then just leave you right back here. So I'll click on cancel. Once you've installed it, then go to your launcher. We'll bring the launcher up. Here we go. Now if you go up here to installations, and you see the Optifine right here. Notice it comes in as its own installation. There's the latest release. Looks like a new snapshot just came through, 18.1 right here, coming through pretty soon. But there we go. There is the Optifine. It's all set to go. So you need to choose to play the Optifine version instead of just playing the regular release version. So we'll go ahead and we'll play this. Click on play, and it takes you back to the title screen. There we go. Now I've already customized my title screen. I have a new title in here. I have a still image in the background, different button colors in here. I've changed that splash text right here. If you want to find out more about how to do this, I have videos on that. And I'll put links for those videos in the description. But for right now, let's go down here to options. Looks the same here, but there's more options inside, especially here on the video settings. Click that one, and here we go. Shaders, this is the important one right here if you want to get that real fancy 3D look. And there's an internal shader up here. This is the one that comes with Optifine, and it's a good shader, but you may want to get better shaders. I have one down here I like quite a bit. It's these Sildur's Vibrant Shaders, version 1 to it. I need to double check, see if that's the latest version at this point. To choose one of the shaders, just click on it, and then Minecraft reloads with that shader installed. There we go. And then you may have some additional options right down here. And notice that this has a lot of options, anti-aliasing colors, fog options, sky lighting, shading, lots of stuff in here. I'll leave all those at their defaults. There you go. Choose done. There you go. Okay, so all those are set. As you can see, lots and lots that can be set or controlled here with Optifine. And I'll be doing more videos in the future on how to really work with Optifine and get the most out of it and do some customization stuff as well. Let's choose done. Single player. Now use your regular worlds. So you don't have to make new worlds just for Optifine. It uses your regular worlds. So we'll go back up here to the main world. And we'll be back there right next to my axolotl habitat. Notice how great the whole world looks now. Now, a couple little things. I have a fancy animated sword right there. In the regular version, you can see through the sword a little bit. You can't see through it here inside of Optifine. 
not a big deal I don't mind that let's just take a look inside real quickly here and here we are inside Notice really neat mood lighting in here, much more dramatic looking than before. So great lighting. Let's take a look through some windows over here. I have some windows just over here inside this room here. There we go. Really, really nice lighting effects in here with these shaders. So there you go. That's how to install Optifine for Minecraft 118. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.